everybody, welcome back, Super Auto Pets. We're on pay to win. Get me, get me off of this stinky pay to win. Put me on free to play. Still having a wonderful time. Thanks as always for your support. I was experimenting a little bit last night. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do when you're in college. I'm a little past that age, nevertheless. Let me tell you, what did I learn? I learned that I think, even though I've started... Let's go. Even though I've started to value ducks more, we wanted this order. I would have preferred if this was like a fish or a mosquito, maybe, but this is okay. Um, I think that... Uh, we'll be the... Be a precious seed. Like, if there was only one oak tree left on Earth and you had the last acorn, that's precious, man. Uh, I think despite valuing ducks more highly than I ever have before, I think I actually still undervalue them. Like, legitimately, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I try this? Roll me. I'm going loco. I'm going loco, okay? I'm gonna, I, we'll roll four ducks. This is fine. We may lose this round. It's 10% of our HP, who cares? We're gonna go up a tier, even if we don't get a level, we're gonna go up a tier um, after this, which means we're about to get plus four, plus four on three different units. Now they might be garbage, but even if, because if we combine, we lose one and we look, yeah, I, honestly, I'm a believer in this process right here. Though it may surprise you, like, to not combine and try to go up another level on, like, a tier uh, three instead of the tier twos. I think, like, a seven five flamingo is going to ruin your life. I think a six six spider is going to cause you some problems. I think a five nine peacock is going to drive you crazy. We don't really want to. We want to pill an ant, I guess, in the future. I don't love anything about this. Um, I'm just gonna throw out a second spider for now. I know how strange this looks. This squad, just on stats alone, is gonna be nightmarish for an enemy to deal with, I think. I mean, you got, you got a 9-6 flamingo that just wiped your squad. Now you got a 7-7 seven, seven spider. Your reward for beating that flamingo is you gotta fight a spider, and now guess what? There's the 6-10 peacock. I don't even like a peacock that much, but the mid game is like, very s sorted for us right now. Why don't you go ahead and pill me? It's going to take a lot for me to get rid of a 7-5 Flamingo. Um, now, just to be honest with you, this is kind of where we enter the next phase of uh, the game. And I, I'm very content with where we stand here, just to be real with you. But um, the next phase of the game can be a little bit awkward, I think. Because um, at some point, we're going to want to get better units uh, or upgrade these existing units. But we have to figure out when the logical pivot point is. And it's not always obvious, even though I just described it as logical. It's not always obvious. That's such bad luck, man. <laughs> we were actually in the clear until he, I spit out a, a giraffe and, or a snail and he spit out a sheep. Sheep difference. Um, it's not always clear, though, because sometimes it's very easy to get, like, you know, sunk cost fallacy, basically, on the, on the existing units we have here. So, like, I'll level with you. I'm, I'm rolling a four-squad Marty. I feel like a lot, and, and I don't mind the four-squad Marty here, just to be clear. A lot of our success with this build, I'm not sweating our HP at all, you know? Like, if we lose this round, so be it, but I, I doubt that's likely to happen, although we're seeing a lot of the same squads, uh, you know, day in, day out here for whatever reason. Um, this seems totally fine. No turtle. That's all I ask. All I ask of you is no turtle. I think that getting a rooster as buff as possible is just, like... It's one of those things that I hate to admit that it's as good as it is, but it's really hard to not just kind of stick with that. Um, but I think we can freeze a rooster for now and just kind of hodl it, as Daniel would say. I know he didn't invent the terminology, but my reasoning is, is quite simple, to be honest with you. Um, we could get ducks, buy and sell them. It's a very easy way to add like a plus one to something that's just chilling in the shop. We, dude, ice in that dog is actually gonna put a real damper on their run here, I think. 
Um, this this is a totally acceptable situation. So we we don't we can give up the opportunity cost of like a few things in the shop if we think that it makes sense, which I'm not totally sold on, but <laughs> I don't know. Now we sold the swan. We got another swan. Feels bad, man. But you you know what? I'll tell you. I don't mind this. We should probably make sure we're freezing roosters as well, um, just in case. But I, I think a level one penguin is kind of unimpressive. A level two penguin, I don't mind. And you know what? It lets you dance with the one that brought you. As long as we get through this uh, kangaroo, I'm not sweating it, man. Like, I'm telling you, like, you might look at this squad and say it's kind of unimpressive. We, you're not wrong, for the record. But we are winning right now literally because of that four duck round. Like, that's changed the game for us completely. I feel, I feel compelled to freeze you by two cans because it makes our rooster that much stronger. Roll once. Honestly, it, it has improved our penguin as well. Um, so that our penguin will actually be stronger than the existing penguin. When it comes out, this, this guy might actually be able to land some hits. No promises, of course, but... Okay, we, we, we punched through that... Uh, the rhino, that's the important thing. Rhino builds tend to be a little front-loaded. It's only a level one ox, so we make it. We draw. I can live with the draw. We're starting to hit like a bit of an awkward, turbulent phase here. But I think, I, like, I'm not worried about it because we, we know at some point you're gone, you're gone, and we're going to be busting a rooster out here and, and feeling pretty good about ourselves. Now we got an 11-11 rooster just freaking chilling, man. <laughs> we gotta, it's going to be the strongest penguin you're ever going to see. Are you seeing this? Now, I, I'll admit, we're running kind of a strange build here, but... For the time being, it certainly seems to just be doing good work. So this takes us to what, to six? Six already? We just got started. Are you sure? I will buy? I think we might as well buy. Freeze me. Second rooster. Okay, now if we could just spit out a level two rooster, that's going to help a lot. I don't know why I'm investing in our spider. Except to say that at this point, like, he's sticking around. 1912 Spider. We're on round 10, sure. Dude, killing that scorpion is insane value. We have garlic armor. As a result, we win these easily. So I'm, I'm not sweating this. this. This is on its way to do some good stuff. If, if this gets to 10 wins, this will be kind of a new paradigm uh, for us. I think, at least. Now, just think about this for a second. It's probably more important that your rooster gets to level 2 so we can start to get some penguin buffs. Now we got... Oh, and... Okay. The flamingo has to go, at this point, in order to spit out four 13-13 roosters. We still want to work... Well, 15-1 uh, rooster. Wait, it spits out four 15-1s, I should say. But uh, we, we got some work to be done still, but this is now like, we I didn't know it could happen so easily. But we made kind of a seamless pivot just by keeping that rooster frozen in our shop for so long. We made a bit of a seamless pivot to a, a better situation. Like, this is a good squad now. Now, you need some of this. You probably need this, but I'm going to freeze it for just a second here. It's always tough because the steak can do some good work for you. You know, okay, let, let's just accept that this is how this is going to go for a minute here. We're getting nice buffs. I would love to... It wouldn't bother me to get a level 2 tiger just to start getting some penguin buffs. It's a little pricey, but... Okay, we're going up against a bat. Two T-Rexes. Holy crap. <laughs> we win these. We win these. That's nine wins with a whole bunch of room to play with. Now, the unfortunate part is we really don't want to sell anything to fit a cow. I don't really care about pizza. Sure, a level three is always fun. And let me tell you, I'm very... Ooh, 
<laughs> no, no, no. But thank you. But no, no, no. I'm very excited by like what our our penguin has done for us. I'm very excited by what our rooster has done for us. This is kind of like a banner build for the spider, which never does this well <laughs> or sticks around this long to begin with. Um, I am feeling A-OK -okay right now. Uh, we might... I was going to say we might lose this one, but we're, we're not going to. It's actually not even close. That was like cool, calm, and collected. A lot of that win honestly goes to our penguin getting stacked. I think the penguin's not like an insanely top tier unit, but if you can get it leveled early, then sure. The other credit there belongs to the early ducks. You may not believe me. It's fine to disbelieve me, but those ducks were doing like that was calm. And it was because our mid game was just sorted for us, honestly. Um, I just like the idea of the Danish presidents. Like, uh, yeah, I'm the president of Denmark. You got a problem? My name is uh, Magnus Carlsen. What the heck? We're going to go. Is this the Corn Pop? He's a bad dude, man. Hot Baguette, though. Great name. Great team name. Certainly like it. You piece. Certainly like it. Roll me. Freeze me. Certainly like it. Now, do we want to double sell an otter? I don't think so. I think what we will do is buy... Oh, but if the otter hits the ducks, we're going to be modestly disappointed, huh? Well, we win these. And it's got a pretty good chance to hit the ducks and then get sold. If we do a double sell... You know, hold on. Sell me, sell me. Buy me. I was going to do a buy me, sell me here on our duck. But it's kind of, this is not a great duck situation. It's not as, it's not as good as it could have been. But I don't mind just fitting a duck for now. And I think you can totally fit a kangaroo. I think we can freeze you. And if you're going to be sticking around, not for long, but for like a minute, why don't you just go ahead and take a B? Like, it gives us a chance. Then we're going to pill the ant. Oh, but it might hit a duck. <laughs> it's the, it's a, what a twisted web we weave. This could be a draw. Anytime I see a badger, I'm like, this, this heavy draw potential, which is, is fine. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, never mind. We actually win easily. Um, but we're, we're not as ahead of the game stat-wise as we used to be. I think you take the chance it hits the duck. I am not ashamed of my words or my deeds. This is pretty sick, man. We get some garlic on you, we're off to the races. Um... You could put a crab in here and then some meat behind it. Or some meat on it, I should say. Um, I, this, for me, is a roll situation. I think you can sell your duck to, to goose up your swan. What a phrase. Uh, I think you could double sell a duck to double goose a swan. You could also double sell a duck and then buy a swan and a dodo. So, like... I'm going to say no to the dodo for now, but there's there's a real temptation there. This, even though we're ahead of where we were on the last run, this is actually not as, like, cut and dry of a, of a win, I would say. Like, last time, I, I really felt like we were quite comfortable. This one, I'm like, we're, we're in a good spot right now, but we need to keep the engine working to, to get us there. We have no obvious engine. Like, our engine last time was just like, hey, we had, like, four nine nines by round four. Which was pretty sick. So sell me. Buy me. I'm just going to do a sell me. Man, we got a 5-6 swan. We spent a lot for it, but we got a 5-6 swan. You need meat. We might as well salad then. Um, I don't really want to sell anything to fit a peacock. I, I honestly think the peacock's a little doo-doo. <laughs> One of the things we might look to on this run right now is actually garlic on the mosquito because we can't really afford to dump a 10-9 at the current phase of the game. Uh, but another thing that would help out a lot is actually um, maybe like two more otters and then a bison. And then we could st we could pivot from this like stat build we got to a bison build and, and make it work as a result of that. But it's I don't mean to complain. I mean, we're five wins out of five matches so far. It's just like a little bit of a tricky situation right here. Like right now, everything's great. 
it might not be like that for the future. What we would love to see really is just some units hitting level two <laughs> or beyond. Uh, in fact, I would actually invest in some rolling here. Let's keep this around. This is a just in case me. I think an ox, like if it were slightly earlier, I'd be more persuaded. But I, I, the ox, I'm not totally sold on. But it will, at, at round six. But it will be nice to get a level two mosquito, which will let us jump up a tier. What's happening? <laughs> I think we lose this just due to their, their clutch mosquito shot. No disrespect intended. That's, you know, it happens. I'm sure we've won thanks to our mosquito shots as well. Their mosquito did some great work there. No disrespect. So the otter is the most losable piece of the squad right now. People always say kangaroo. I'm here to tell you it's not the case. Kangaroo is, uh, it looks like a 2-3, but it's not a 2-3. Don't be tricked. Penguin doesn't really fit right now. We don't have that kind of squad. That's necessary. Um, crocodile doesn't really fit, but I will keep it for now. I'm going to immediately regret that decision. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, this is... Okay, we'll, we'll roll Crocodile for one round. This is the beauty of having a lot of HP. Then we're going to start to get that monkey to try to make the mosquito scale a little bit faster. This seems okay. This seems very good. This seems like no problem. Okay, so we're... I wouldn't say we're back, but I'm more comfortable. Let's sell you. Buy you. You need to get fed, for sure. Not an apple, though. Come on, have some respect. Uh... You're probably not long for this world. You need some garlic. So let's start there. Uh, I'm tempted to like buy, sell, like get a giraffe out there, but I'm gonna say no. Maybe we actually just get the swan to level up. It could happen. Now we are understated for where I would like to be, but that doesn't mean you lose. I was like, where's my crocodile shot? <laughs> okay, there, oh, uh, I, I honestly didn't think there was a way we were making it through there, but actually we did. I'll take a draw against a, a strong looking team. The swan has to go now. Now I'm not, I don't wanna disrespect the rooster, but this does not feel like it's kind of build right now. So what's the number one enemy for us? You probably don't even need me to say it, but, um, yeah, we gotta keep this, but uh, a scorpion is just a nightmare. <laughs> this is pretty huge. So I think like two monkeys is fine, it doesn't bother me. We're gonna make sure, well, there's two ways we could play this. We can get a level two kangaroo, but we could also just put a tiger back here and that'll pog up the kangaroo as we get into the late game, which we're quickly approaching. We could instead, Combine two monkeys, this is next turn, combine two monkeys, give them chocolate, and then put a level one monkey next to them, thus generating six stats, attack and health per turn for our mosquito. Now, I, this is the kind of thing you get laughed at when you do it on stream until it works, and then people go, holy crap, you can do that? Like, I know that it's a little, it's slightly unusual versus the way that you would expect to play the game. But sometimes the counterintuitive stuff is actually like, is actually the best. Now you're gonna stay frozen for like our last salvo. We're gonna put a lot of effort into like a tiger kangaroo or maybe a tiger snake uh, in order to get that last win when our HP dips. Until our HP dips, I don't really see a reason to commit to you yet. I'm fine adding another kangaroo here. Really the meat of this, is not hitting a scorpion. That's my, my whole strategy is don't hit a scorpion. I'm so sorry that we're gonna beat this sloth build. <laughs> I like, I haven't even seen a sloth. I apparently it's like a super rare useless animal. So it's really prized to get it to level three for like that last achievement. I don't, I don't know anything about this honestly, except for what I just told you. Um, this is hilarious, man. And then at any point we can just go boop, pop the tiger down and we're, we're good to go. But um, 
I, I feel bad for taking out that tiger build and it's or that that uh, sloth build and it, its moment of potential, but uh, alas, hey, we, we got eaten ourselves here. So we lose three. We still are two away from lethal, like two runs away from lethal. You have to stick around. You're like a scorpion counter for us because you're about to max out. We could. Eh, I'm not saying big scorp has ever worked. Little late for hippo in my estimation. Instead, let's just reroll endlessly and get nothing out of it. Um, interesting, right? I think maybe this is the time to give ourselves the best possible chance. So combine me. Forget the chocolate. Buy me. You're already getting 6-6 six, six per turn. That doesn't bother me. Give your kangaroo a slightly better chance to survive. Pop the tiger down behind. Freeze me. Freeze me. I think this squad has a chance. We just really don't want to see a scorpion, but this is why we're happy to have some room to play with. I do not see a scorpion. I do see a level 2 uh, 50 17 rooster. <laughs> it's not exactly like my my ideal squad to go up against, but sure, more power to you. Okay, that's w well done, and I mean that sincerely. You peace. Now the play, because we're in real desperation hours, is you sell the monkey. I know, it's scary. But we can't really rework the squad. You sell the monkey to fit a scorpion, and then you buy the best piece of equipment and provide it to the unit most likely to succeed. And we still got to win twice to get to 10. Bad start. Mosquito really could have helped me out of a jam there. You really, really could have helped me out of a jam there. Dude, we almost got there with our tiger kangaroo, by the way. Either way, we're going to stop this one here. But that was an eight, uh, 18 win episode. Really good, really strong 10 win, followed by an 8 win that kind of fell off. And I take responsibility. <laughs> And I think actually keeping the monkey might have made it so that we traded with the hippo instead of just losing two units to it. But, you know, it happens. Always learning. We'll be back with pay to win next time. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you then. See ya.